So as I had mentioned before, we although we want to do get rid of, get rid of brackets first, then get rid of fraction, it is possible to get rid of the fraction first. But we have to be really very careful about this. So I'm going to multiply by the lowest common denominator, which is 6, or times 2 times 3. And then I'm going to distribute into here. Now, when we distribute, we have to be careful. The rule is we distribute across plus and minus. We do not distribute across this multiplication here. Now, again, this is not suggested, but if, if we want, we can actually get rid of the fraction at this point. But we have to be careful. When we distribute, when I distribute this 2 and 3, it can distribute to here. That's okay. It can distribute to just the one third. That's okay. okay. It can distribute just to the brackets and then across the plus minus here. That's okay as well. But we cannot distribute into here. here. We cannot distribute into here, here, and here because we're distributing across that blue times there. Okay, so if we're going to do this properly, what I can do is I can distribute, but I can only distribute to one of the, those terms there, and I'm going to distribute to that term right there, the one third, not to any of the other terms that we are that we have in there. So when I do that, I end up with negative four. Nothing multiplies to negative four. I have my times three divide three cancel out. And I'm going to have my times 2. And then I don't touch the brackets. Okay, because I've already distributed to that term. And then I end up with... Uh, oops, is that correct? Yeah. I have a, my minus 1. I can distribute onto here. There's a minus there, so I can distribute across that, so that becomes 1, and then nothing cancels here, so I have my times 2 times 3. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I put my square bracket in there to group this, plus x, the times 2 divide 2 cancel, so I'm left with the times by 3 factor, equals... 9, nothing cancels here, so I have my times 2 times 3 here, minus, I'm going to write this as x over 2, Actually, well, some, the divide by 2 is going to cancel out, so I'm just going to be left with x, and then the times 2 divide 2 cancel, so I'm still left with a multiply by 3 that doesn't cancel, plus, 1 times, okay, and again, this one, does nothing cancels, so I have a times 2 times 3. And don't forget the brackets here that I had originally. Okay, so I'm going to combine some terms here. So I end up with 2, 2x two minus 1, minus, this becomes 6, brackets, plus 3x equals this becomes 9 times 2 times 3, which is 54, minus, keep the brackets, 3x plus 6. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of bracket. I've now got rid of all the fractions. That was my first step. Now I'm going to get rid of brackets. So before I did the brackets first, then fractions. Again, that's what I would suggest you do. But we can now get rid of brackets. So 4x minus 2 minus 6 plus 3x equals 54. Get rid of the brackets here, so I'm going to distribute that negative onto both terms. Minus 3x minus 6. Multiplying through, so I'm going to, well, first I'll just combine like terms. So 4x minus 8 plus 3x 
equals, I'm going to combine like terms here, 48 minus 3x. Distribute this. Make sure I distribute that negative along. So negative 16x plus 32 plus 3x. This should look very familiar to the last solution now. We're just all to the whole number parts with all the brackets removed. Combine like terms. Okay, so I'm going to add 13x to both sides to get rid of that 13x. On the left-hand side, I'm going to subtract 48 from both sides to get rid of the ones on the right-hand side. Make sure I keep track of my terms. 32 minus 48 is negative 16. Negative 3 plus 13x is positive 10x. And then divide by 10, divide by 10, and I get the answer that I had previously. Simplified fraction of 8 over 5.